All right, I'm inside the Darwinator here. Uh, this is a tournament for an innovation course that I've been doing called OPM 651. And uh, you get a sense of what this uh, tournament is about. It, uh, it's just a textual description of the innovation challenge that shouldn't matter much for us. Um, what I want to show you first is how to set up tournaments. And for that, we go into the admin mode. Um, you sign up as an admin, you create tournaments, and for those tournaments that you created, you are the admin. And so you notice here on the first uh, screen for admin on the overview, tournaments have names, a tournament code, a summary, some the description of the innovation challenge, and then some, some, some text that gets put in front of um, the uh, participants uh, with respect to IP, rules, disclaimers, other things. Um, you can also customize the look and feel of the, your tournament by uploading um, a JPEG or any other uh, bitmap uh, image. In my case here, that was the, the Wharton logo. Um, the schedule of the tournament is basically then managed in the, in the next tab. Um, so uh, you have to decide at what time the tournament is allowing submissions of new ideas, evaluations, people submitting the, the scores, the actual crowdsourcing, and uh, you can either manually transition these things or if because of travel, difficult time zones or other things, you can uh, schedule these transitions uh, ahead of time. Uh, then under attachments, you can upload a kind of a bunch of stuff to explain your challenge. Those might be videos, uh, PDFs, anything else that you can think of. Uh, not typically crucial for the tournament. Uh, so under submissions, so under submissions, you're basically um, you know, telling the people how many ideas you want them to submit. In this case, I wanted them to submit anywhere up to five submissions ahead of field, uh, ahead of time. And uh, basically, you know, you have to give these things that they're submitting some names. So it's, you know, typically these would be idea title and idea description. Um, but uh, you could also have other stuff uh, be, be used for this. Imagine you could have, uh, you know, you could uh, organize a beauty queen contest through the Darwinator, in which case these fees would be name and uh, maybe phone number. Uh, then under evaluation, basically uh, under the evaluation tab, you uh, set up the, um, the questions uh, that you're using. And you're telling the users uh, how, how many uh, uh, evaluations they should uh, submit as part of the crowdsourcing. So you noticed here, um, you know, we are asking for um, 40 evaluations. Um, you also have the uh, option here when you're doing the crowdsourcing, you can uh, determine if the user sees these evaluations, uh, the ideas they're evaluating one by one, or if they are getting them presented all in, in one big, big batch. I've chosen here the blinded option, so we are making sure that this is a double-blind peer review in the sense that I don't know who submitted the idea when I vote on it. And then here you can, uh, you know, basically you can upload one or multiple questions that uh, basically are asked to the people when they uh, do the actual crowdsourcing. Then finally here, um, uh, I can determine uh, the reports that uh, users will get. Uh, I can see uh, the, the information that um, um, people will be provided with. In this case, I can see the reports of the ideas that came in. Again, these are student ideas in the course, so I'm not breaking any proprietary information to you here. Uh, these are student, student ideas, and you can see here how they scored on average, maximum, minimum, uh, and, and a whole range of, uh, range of other things, as well as I can access the actual comments uh, from, from the ideas. Um, and then fi finally, under access, uh, under access basically, I, I manage things such as, um, is the tournament running or not? But most importantly, I manage the user base. I can send out email announcements to users, I can add new users, or I can, um, I can basically make sure that um, I limit user functionality. So if I have some, some people who just are voting, some people who are not allowed to submit anything, this is uh, where I would uh, get, get this part uh, actually done then.